Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's tutorial is going to be more of explanation on the powerful tools in Microsoft Excel. Please give me your attention while I explain the topic extensively so that you can grasp the critical point I'm going to bring out to assist us in our further tutorial classes. Thank you. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to filter an Excel pivot table using a slice tool in order to have a very nice accessible interface environment. So today we are moving into another powerful tools tools harden in Microsoft Excel called Power Pivot now before we jump in and start to utilize these tools and some some of its functionality i want to talk about the why all right why should we be interested in a z power pivot power pivot and what is is this tools added added is going to do to us so let's talk about this Excel Power Pivot and the idea behind Excel Power Pivot. All right, in Excel Power Pivot, we have to create what we we are going to refer to as a data model. A data model are essentially our data, and it is a list and really simple. Just that through a data model. We can set up multiple lists. Now, take a look at the example file that I have open in front of you. Inside this example file I have opened in front of you, I have got two worksheets here that I want to direct your attention to. The first one is what the customer info where the second one is, is right beside it it's called the, the order info now this is two separate table that is the customer info and the order info but they are related data and have, and have some relationship between them all right for example i've got a customer info and inside of here my first customer id here is rosa you can see and with the customer id as the head with all the information for that custom with that customer and it and its multiple other priorities if i sort this customer id from ascending order right here hmm? as we are rightly did in our previous class you can see that and as well if i sort the other info in an ascending order here okay okay now you can you, you can see that there are about six records related which is Hebel, you can see that I can find Hebel in the other info there, and likewise I can find Hebel on the customer ID info here. All right, which which means that they are related. There is a they are related customer ID inside the customer info. So there is a relationship between these two bits of customer data. Now I want to build a report of this data remember this this is two separate bit of data we can see hmm? through power pivot we can create a data model that holds both of these lists that is the customer info and the what the order info and create a relationship between these two set of data because both customer info and other info 
contains a customer ID here. You can see also contains a customer ID with a common value that we can relate to. Why is this important? Well, take a look. What if I just jump up into customer info here and create a pivot table? Right? So as we rightly did in our previous class so before we can create a pipe table the first step is just to create click on anywhere on the table then go to your insert tab all right so once you click on your insert tab then you will see a pivot table rightly at the side of just, just click on it now my pivot table is here now i will want my pivot table to create it on a on a new sheet so click on ok now but i only got in this in this table here i only got customer info data here you can see only customer info data that's what i only got here i need other info as well because i want to build I want to build i want to build a report based on the two information which is what the other info and the customer info all right down below you can see down below here the, the pivot under the pivot table fit fit section here there is an option which is which says more table that sounds useful as well in another in another word there is another table i need to build which is called other info on this on this table now i will click on on this more table now you can see now a dialog box display right before me asking if i want to create a new pivot table my answer here is no I don't want to create a new pivot table that hold multiple sources. If you look at what is written on the on this dialog box saying to use multiple table in your analysis, a new pivot table need to be created using a data model, meaning that I have to create a data model first, which holds both of these set of all set of all data create and create the relationship between them and then create the pivot table this is why it is so important and powerful tools we can now take a multiple set of data whether live whether 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 live inside the Excel itself or outside the Excel, you can reach out to other database or online services and input input data input that data into a data model within our Excel document and then report this data and create a relationship between between multiple sets of data. Let's try this out. In my next video, I am going to show you how to activate how to activate the Excel Power Pivot Harden to enable us to create a data model function. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll be giving you more of the Excel function list. Bye.